we are using the distributive property, we have to consider the signs. If that multiply is negative, you're going to get positive. And if you have positive that multiplies positive, then you get positive. And if you have positive that multiplies negative, it's going to be negative. And if you have negative that multiplies positive, you're going to get negative. Another thing to keep in mind is the exponents. When you are multiplying exponents, you add them. If you have x that multiplies x, we know that this x has a power of 1 and this other one has a power of 1. So it's going to be x to the power of 1 right here plus x to the other power. You're going to have x to the second power. The same thing happens in the following one. We're going to add the exponents. So x and x that multiplies x, we have the same base right here, so it's going to be x to the third power plus x to the second power. What if we get that? So there's going to be x to the fifth power. If you have 3 that multiplies 4x, we know that um, when you multiply 3 times 4, you're going to get 12. So 12x it's equivalent to 3 times 4. We're going to be using the distributive property with two terms. We, now we have 2 that multiplies x plus 3. So 2 is going to multiply x and 2 is going to multiply 3. So now we have 2 times x plus 2 times 3. We can simplify this and we get 2 times x, it would be 2x, plus 2 times 3 would be 6. We're going to use distributive property using three terms. So we have 4x that multiplies 2x, and then we have 4x that is going to multiply negative 3. We have 4x that is going to multiply negative 6x. So, 4x that multiplies 2x plus 4x that multiplies negative 3 plus 4x that multiplies negative 6x. Now we're going to simplify. So 4 that multiplies 2 is going to be 8. Then we have x that multiplies x. It's going to be x to the second power. Then we have positive 4x that multiplies negative 3. So positive and negative is going to give us negative. Then 4x times 3x is going to be 12x. Then we have the same situation. Positive times negative is going to be negative. 4x times 6x is going to be 24x to the second power because they have power 1 and power 1 and we add exponents. Can we combine terms that are like? Yes. So we have 8x squared minus 24x squared minus 12x. 8x squared plus negative 24x squared. This is going to be negative 16x squared. Took care of these two minus 12x. We property with four terms. So we have 2 that multiplies negative a and 2 that multiplies 2b, 2 that multiplies 4a and 2 that multiplies negative b. 
So we're going to be using the distributive property. So the first term that we have is going to be 2 that multiplies negative a plus 2 that multiplies 2b plus 2 that multiplies 4a plus 2 that multiplies negative b. Now we're going to simplify. 2 is positive and you have a negative right here. So positive and negative is going to give us a negative sign. Negative 2a plus, both of them are positive, plus 2 times 2 is going to be 4b plus 2 times 4 is going to be 8a. Positive and negative is going to give us negative 2b. Can we combine terms right now? We can do it because we have a and you have a. You have B, and then you have B. So you have negative 2A. I'm going to put all my terms that are alike together. Negative 2A plus 8A plus 4B minus 2B. Now that you have your all terms together right here, so you have negative 2A plus AA is going to be, if you take 2 away from A, you're going to get 6A. And we have the same situation in the following terms. If you have 4B minus 2B, so you're going to take away 2B out of 4. So you're going to end up with 2B. This is your final answer.